Music is very important to me, so it wasn't hard to come up with the idea of working with an organization to help kids get instruments. I knew I wanted to help the less fortunate children in some way. I had it in my head already that I was going to work with an organization such as Hunger for Music or Musicopia. They are both organizations that help the less fortunate children get instruments and pursue their passions. I ended up going with Musicopia. Musicopia is an organization based out of Philadelphia, so I thought it would be better to go more local. As a musician, I know that getting your first instrument is a very important and life-changing experience. At the beginning of the semester, I wrote my college essay on my experience getting my first guitar, and I realized how important that moment was in my life. I realized that if I hadn't gotten my first instrument, I would be a very different person than I am now. Because when you're a musician, music and being a musician is a huge part of who you are. To show the importance of your first instrument, I decided to go to the orchestra class here at PW and interview kids about their first instruments. Do you consider music a passion of yours? Yeah, definitely. What was your first instrument? It was a viola for two years in fourth grade, and then I switched over to bass in fifth grade. I played them at the same time, and then I switched fully over to bass. And where do you think you would be right now if you had never gotten your first instrument? Definitely not as, like, farther in school as I am. Like, I think music really helped me sort of get better at school. It was more of like a buffer between classes because I feel like if I just had academics the whole time, it would be a lot more stressful for me and it was just sort of a release to come and play my instrument. I'm Melanie and my first instrument is the viola. I really enjoy music because it's a good way to relieve stress and it just makes me happy. I honestly don't know what I'd do without music and I made so many amazing friends through it and I just love it. Is music a passion of yours? It's definitely, of course. What was your first instrument? It was a piano. And where would you be right now if you never got your first instrument? I don't know, probably on a sports team, honestly. I probably would join something with all the extra time I had, but you I'm it. so happy I picked music. Is music a passion of yours? Um, I would say so. I've been playing it since fourth grade and it kind of gives like, it gives me a relief in my day. So it's a nice kind of break from all the learning. What was your first instrument? Uh, my first instrument was, it was a smaller um, viola and my dad got it off the internet and it was completely awful, but I loved playing it. And where do you think you would be right now if you never got your first instrument? If I never got my first instrument, I would say I probably wouldn't have continued music and I would kind of just like let it die um, like my brother had, but I decided to keep, um, stay with that instrument and then get uh, this one, and then I've been playing it ever since. Consider music a passion of yours? Definitely. What was your first instrument? Um, my first instrument was an instrument that dad, my dad brought with him to America when he came over when he was seven. Uh, it was a violin. Where do you think you would be right now if you'd never gotten your first instrument? Um, I definitely wouldn't have just like a side passion like this that has nothing to do with my academics that I would really be able to like dedicate to my uh, the rest of my life. Do you consider music a passion of yours? Yeah, I would consider music as a passion of mine. What was your first instrument? Um, I first played piano when I was like five or six and then I switched over to violin when I was in fourth grade and now I usually, mostly stick with violin. And where would you be right now if you had never gotten your first instrument? Um, I think I wouldn't be as Happy, I guess, because music is a really big part of my life. Ever since I started piano, I really enjoy music, and now that I do orchestra in high school, it's kind of like a class where I can just relax and take a break from like honors and AP and other like stressful classes, so it's really important to me. It all got me thinking of those kids out there who are deprived of getting their first instrument. And it made me want to help those who can't pursue a passion of music, even if it meant only a few people could benefit from what I was doing. After sending many emails to organizations and finally picking Musicopia and sharing phone calls with the manager for music and arts, I created a flyer to put inside the store. By that time, I was ready to drop off the donation box to music and arts and start collecting donations. So today I'm going to the music and arts in Kunchahakin. Um, that's where all my instruments are being held. And I'm really excited to see the progress I made and how many instruments were actually donated. And the woman from Musicopia is arranging to have them picked up from Music and Arts next week. So I'm headed there to see my progress, meet with the manager from the Music and Arts, and I have stickers that I'm going to put on every instrument so they can tell which instruments came from my drive.
and I'm really excited to see how it turned out. I ended up with eight instrument donations. I got three violins, one cornet, one trombone, a few accessories, and another instrument that isn't pictured, which was donated after I took the pictures of the instruments. The instruments were picked up the day after I went to put stickers on them. After Mia, the woman from Musicopia, picked them up, she sent me this thank you letter informing me of my success in holding the instrument drive. During my journey in holding this instrument drive, I faced a few obstacles. Before switching over to Musicopia, I was in contact with Hunger for Music, and after sending multiple emails and getting unenthusiastic and vague responses, I ended up switching over to Musicopia. After that, communication with the organization I was working with went way more smoothly. I also had trouble getting in contact with the guy from Music and Arts because it took him a really long time to return my calls, and it was a struggle to actually set up a meeting with him. One thing I would have liked to do during this instrument drive is actually donate them myself to a school because it would have been nice to actually see where the instruments were going to end up. I had many successes that helped me move forward in this process of holding an instrument drive. Finding Musicopia was a huge success because the woman who I spoke to at Musicopia was very helpful and very informative about how I can make this instrument drive a success and a reality. Another huge success was that the man at Music and Arts offered to sell wholesale instruments to people who wanted to donate instruments for as low as $25. This is a very good price. It really was a big success that I got eight instrument donations, and I'm really happy that I got such a good haul out of this instrument drive. It's always a possibility to end up with empty boxes when holding any kind of drive, so I feel very lucky that I collected a substantial donation to donate to Musicopia. During the course of this instrument drive, I learned just how important music is to me and how important it is in my life. I also learned that I'm only one person and I can't change the world or take away the issue of people not being able to afford instruments. But just knowing that I helped a few people in Philadelphia makes me realize that I can do more than I thought I could in the first place. And it makes me really happy that my project will help some kids in Philadelphia enjoy music as much as I do.